this man him this man went on a rampage at tops a grocery store out in buffalo new york a racist rampage now now he could say that he wasn't technically being trying to be racist but you go to an all-black basically community with a store with predominantly african-american people what does that say to you Hello guys, it is me, Clarissa here on Clarissa Says, where Clarissa says it all and that's how I feel. So, I first and foremost want to thank my supporters because actually I was able to get this topic from someone who DM'd me on Instagram. So, you're not following me on Instagram, please go ahead and follow me on my Instagram at Clarissa Says. I post reels, I post uplifting motivational stuff, trending topics videos inserts and etc more pretty pictures trending stuff just go on my instagram make sure you're following me there make sure you're staying up and active and engaged with my instagram because i do post stuff there and that's the best way to contact me because my dms will instantly go to my phone you can also email me clarissica says at gmail.com i will also respond to my emails especially if you are a vendor a brand looking for an ambassador or you're trying to give me a key topic like this now i heard wind of this topic but i didn't really pay it any mind and then somebody was like girl this happened like two days ago why didn't you re uh, report on this i'm like you know what i'm sorry my apologies i'm slacking let me get on this right now right now right now so here i am right now getting on this yeah yeah so we're not gonna sit here and keep talking about this intro we're gonna just get right into it okay so let me read this article talking about biden arriving in buffalo following the mass shooting and what to expect okay so in wake of the mass shooting that took 10 lives and injured three others here in buffalo president joe biden is in this city tuesday to speak on the matter as he should he is the president okay the following people lost their lives as the result of, a, of the devastating racist attack at the top store located on jefferson ave okay aaron salter 55 ruth whitfield 86 pearl young 77 Celestine Cheney, 65, Roberta Drury, 32, Hayward Patterson, 67, Margus Morrison, 52, Andre McNeil, 53, Geraldine Talley, 62, Catherine Macy, 72. So every person who died was basically an older adult. Even the Roberta Drury, who is 32 she's still over the age of 20 below the uh, above the age of a child okay so he went to this store and really killed a bunch of like older men and women okay Zaire Goodman, 20, Jennifer Warrington, 50, and Christopher Braden, 55, were shot but survived. This man walked in to the store and just started spraying off. I want y'all to know what, what, what happened, okay? So I don't think he specifically targeted older people, but I'm just saying you just happened to go to this store around a time where there's more of a, an older population, okay? So they arrived at Buffalo Niagara International Airport in Chicktawaga around 9 30 a.m and were greeted by government kathy huckle buffalo mayor brian brown and u.s senator charles schumer along among others okay from there they will travel to buffalo to visit the Toss memorial dedicated to those lost in saturday's mass shooting this will take place just before 10 30 a.m at 11 a.m the president and the first lady will meet with the families of the victims as well as the first responders and community leaders at the devilland grider community center there biden will deliver remarks he is scheduled to speak at 1 p.m following this the president and the first lady will depart buffalo at 2 p.m all this is happening today okay so let's see if we can get more information really quickly on the situation at hand okay so let's talk about what happened so Online posts reveal suspected gunmen spent months planning racist attack at a Buffalo supermarket. Okay, so social media posts by the 18-year-old white man suspected of shooting and killing 10 people at the Buffalo supermarket Saturday revealed he had 
been planning his attacks for months. So when people are sitting there talking about, oh, you don't know if it's a racist attack, he just happened to choose a story. But people don't just, people don't just, I don't feel like people don't just don't, don't just walk into a store, okay, and say, I'm going to choose this store and do this to it. No, they're strategic. They, they're very strategic. I purposely do think that he went around that time with the older people, older crowd. I purposely do think he chose that location in Buffalo. And I purposely do think he chose that store. For all we know, that would have been, he never, you never know, he probably went to that one day and it was something that happened with him and he felt disrespected and had a vengeance ever since then. People are crazy. People are really like not in the right mind frame. It could have been something small that triggered him or it could have been, listen, I know at this point, this time, this location in this store, because it's a popular store in this predominantly African-American community. It's going to hit highlights. It's going to hit highlights. It's going to be national, world known. I'm doing this one. And it could have been just that point blank, period. Okay? But let's keep reading. Okay? So he's been planning his attack for months. Alleged gunman Peyton S. Gendron or Gendron. I think it's Gendron or Gendron of Conklin, New York, posted that he said the particular two posted that he slid a particular zip code in Buffalo because it had the highest percentage of black population close enough to where he lived. See? People ain't dumb, okay? People are not dumb, okay? Police and other officials have described the mass shooting as a hate crime, which it is, because you specifically said, I'm going to do this and I'm going to choose this neighborhood for this specific reason. Like, for what? For why? Why? I'm confused, okay? In his post initially written on that chat app, Discord, and shared on an online forum, 4chan. The suspect said he visited the Tops Friendly Market three times on March 8th to survey the layouts as well as at the times of the day when there were the most customers. He planned his attack for mid-March, the post says, but delayed the date several times. The alleged gunman was taken to custody in the immediate ap sorry, aftermath and is under suicide watch after pleading not guilty to a first degree murder charge according to authorities how you gonna plead not guilty when it got factual evidence that you killed all these 10 people like what the hell okay so so these are the latest developments suspect visited some the day before attack Jindro was at the tops friendly market on friday day before the shooting and he was also there early in march okay next pointer manager says she told Jindron to leave the day the leave the day before the attack so an operations manager at the, at the market told ABC News that she saw him at the store on Friday evening and told him to leave because it like he was bothering customers. Gendron sitting on a bench outside the store wearing the camouflage he would wear Saturday left without an argument. Chanel Harris Teague told ABC. Teague's brother, the Reverend Tim Newkirk, Newkirk told the Buffalo News that Gendron was posing as a beggar, okay? And T told him he could not panhandle there, okay? Attack would have continued elsewhere had suspect not been stopped. The suspect had other target locations down the street, according to the Erie County Sheriff John Garcia. Authorities found another rifle and a shotgun in his vehicle, said Garcia, who credited the quick arrival on of two police officers um, with preventing other attacks. Of course, they're going to credit to police officer for reaching the scene. Fact, you already know police officers are taking their time when it comes down to black people crime. But guess what they said? Oh, white man on the loose shooting in a, in a, in a police in a, in a black uh, predominantly neighborhood. Let me come real quick. Let me get this under wraps because we can't have this kind of media. All right. Writing scene on suspect's firearms. CNN has obtained a photo of two of the firearms inside the alleged gunman's vehicle that were not used in a shooting. Writing is seen on the weapons, including the fairies White Lives Matter, as well as what appears to be the name of a victim of a crime committed by a black suspect. Okay. So maybe he has a vengeance because he says white life matters as well as what appears to be the name of a victim of a crime committed by a black suspect okay so let me go back to the first thing i said maybe he had a vengeance for something somebody you never know people don't just do things people do just sometimes people do just do things but people don't just do things sometimes they have a reason for him to go all out of that he must have a reason either he felt like somebody came from the wrong way either he had a family member for that was abused or taken advantage of some way from a black or African American person, or he just had a hate crime, and that was his reason. His reason was a hate crime. He was he's he thinks white lives matters more than black lives matters, and he wanted to prove point that white lives matters. However, the way that he was exited out with no bruises, no cuts, no nothing, 
shows that there is a such thing as white privilege. You just shot up 10 people died. Three people, which means 13 people altogether was injured in some way, shape, or form. And you literally walk out of there in handcuffs with no bruises, no broken feet, ankles, no broken arms, no nothing. You just walk up out of there like nothing happened. Like what if it was a black person, that person would have been beat up and battered by the time he got out that door. For sure. For sure. Okay. Video shows gunmen apologizing, sparing one person's life. Video obtained by CNN and filmed during the shooting shows the gunman turning his weapon on a man who is curled up on the ground near what looks like a checkout lane. The man shouts, no, and the shooter then says, sorry, and turns and walk away. The video ends at this point and it's unknown what happened next. It is not clear why the man was apparently spared or why the gunman apologized, okay? Family has not visited suspect in jail, why would they, okay? Investors have spoken to the Sussex family and describe them as distraught as they should be and sickened as they even should be more by what happened. Sheriff Garcia said the alleged shooter has met with his legal team while in custody, he said, but pleaded not guilty for second murder. What you talking about? But there have not been any family requests to visit the shooter. Okay, presidential visit on Tuesday, which is today. President Joe Biden and First Lady Jill Biden are scheduled to visit Buffalo. Like I say, so speak at one o'clock and be leaving Buffalo by two. Okay. And um, they're going to meet with the families and, of course, go to the community um, center, like I mentioned earlier, and, of course, pay homage to the fallen citizens, the families, and, of course, honor the first responders and the people that are also working at the time. Okay. Racist beliefs shared in rant allegedly from suspect. Since the shooting, officials have looked at what they say was the suspect's racist intent and his history. We continue to investigate this case as a hate crime, a federal hate crime, and as a crime perpetrated by a racially motivated violent extremist. Stephen or Stephen Belongia, special agent in charge of the FBI Buffalo Field Office says Sunday at a news conference. Okay, the massacre, massacre follows other mass shootings in recent years in which authorities say a white supremacist suspect was motivated by racial hatred, including in El Paso, Texas, Charleston, South Carolina, and as far as Norway and New Zealand. So this is not just in America, y'all. Don't, don't, don't think it is, okay? In a 180-page diatribe linked to the suspect he said he subscribed to a great replacement theory or the false belief that white americans are being replaced by people of the other races once a fringed idea the replacement theory has recently became a talking point for fox news host tucker carlson as well as other prominent conservatives okay so they go on to talk about basically that whole theory and some people are really off the rocker with that theory and they're basically saying that that's what led him to do what he did okay so they go on to talk about how he has done school projects about you know and things that he should not have been thinking about while in high school okay so they even you know submitted one of his projects to the sus way or k hannah values valley central school district to basically show like this is what this man's been doing in school and like this is not new like he's been off his rocker and the school district referred to it as an ominous with reference to through a virtual learning platform in June, okay? So though the threat was not specific and did not involve other students, the instructor immediately informed an administrator who escalated the matter to New York State Police. So the project that he did didn't target anyone specifically, but they still notified the police because it's like, yo, my, this, this kid is doing this kind of stuff and saying this kind of things is something people should know about. And they basically said that they couldn't say anything more about it because of you know the official laws regarding school um officials that they cannot say there's certain things that they cannot do being that they are in the school system right so the state police arrived at his house at the point at that point last year when after the whole situation was reported and he basically said that he stayed at a facility i'm not sure if it was a hospital or a mental hospital um facility for a, a day or and a half so basically they arrived at his house and they said you need to go get evaluated and they took him to a facility and they basically got him a mental check evaluation and he doesn't know how long that he stayed there maybe this man was doing off the rocker and they should have kept him there okay he should have stayed there okay so 
white privilege, okay? It was not the sort of involuntary commitment that would have precluded the suspect from purchasing a weapon, though. So he did all of this stuff, talking about, but they still allowed this man to be able to purchase a firearm. Okay, so Jindro wrote about the investigation in a January post on Discord. He wrote that it ended when he told the investigators his writings were just a stupid thing he done. Nice. Just 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 dumb kid stuff. Cause kids write about on the regular. Okay, I'm and I'm whispering the words because YouTube has regulations. I don't want to be um going past them, okay? So another bad experience was when I had to go to a hospital or because I said the words to an online paper in economics class. He claimed he got out of it because I stuck with the story, keyword story, that I was getting out of class and I was just stupidly writing it down, okay? That is the reason I believe I'm still able to purchase guns. It was not a joke. I wrote that down because that's what I was planning to do, and he did. So Ginger further claims that his mental health evaluation lasted just 15 minutes after he spent hours waiting in the emergency room. Community mourns loved ones, of course. So the 10 people killed on Saturday ranged in the age of 13 to 86. RIP to all the family members that were involved and the people that died. Um, my condolences was also the families for sure. That is so hard um to to handle and it's just it's just it's crazy okay so i'm gonna end this article reading now and just go ahead to my final thoughts so we can go ahead and wrap this video up i felt like it was necessary for me to read all that some of you guys are just making it to this end maybe y'all skipped through i don't know if i did not skip through then thank you for going through and actually listening to me reading and commenting while i'm reading those articles okay because it's important for you to know the background before somebody ever gives you their opinion or their knowledge or their take on a situation you need to get your own education so me reading that was me basically giving you the education before i give you my perspective okay and i think that's necessary if you watch somebody and you don't know what's going on they don't give you a quick brief update or whatever then i think you should go watch other channels because they're not informing you they're telling you i want people to be informed i don't want people to just be talked to like i hate when i feel like somebody's talking down to me or talking to me you know talk with me let's talk let's communicate together so let's learn together let's build together and it's it's important for teachers, officials, people in general that are going to day to day life working in a job that they listen to these things. Because this boy was writing things down. This man was giving people hints and signs, and we were just ignoring them. We were giving him a blind eye because he was a male person, I believe, a young kid. <clears throat> and they didn't even follow through with the process of evaluating him properly. Like he said, he went to the emergency room, sat there for hours, got an evaluation of 15 minutes, and basically was sent home probably the same day the next day, basically, within the time frame of less than 24 hours. And that's not the point, okay? That's not a point because apparently that did not help him in any case, way, shape, or form. He just said, okay, let me plan more, um, what he say, you know, more thoroughly, okay? Because this is what I want to do. And there was not any deterioration or de de determent, no deferment from his mind frame. There was nobody to really tell him like, no, don't do this, bro. You are mad, cray cray, like, yo, get out of your head. And at the same time, maybe he had some people or some groups that he was also paying attention to and, and, and getting brainwashed and um, thought that it made sense. And I don't understand how, but people do crazy things and believe in crazy things. Like shit in people's mind, is real okay so that's why you have to really be careful who you're around and really take things serious if you are seeing red flag red flag red flag take the time out to really pay attention to whoever's giving those those sim, sim, signals do not let people just be going through things and then you don't do anything to help them and then when something just happened you think back and say dang i could have i could have prevented this so i feel like personally all those teachers all those officials that the cops that took me to the hospital all of them are saying dang we could have did more dang we should have done more dang i should have followed up on this man like seriously and that's i feel like police work that's what a police officer is supposed to be. If you are handling somebody, sent to the hospital, you're supposed to check up on that. You're supposed to be a community advocate, not just, okay, I did my job, I dropped them off. On to the next person. Like, no, and that's what I feel like 
happening. So a lot of a lot of these cases, people's situations are not saw through. Like you don't see them all the way through back to mental health. You just push them into it. They don't actually get the help that they need. Nothing comes out of it, and they go right back to the stuff ten times worse. And that's what happened. Like there's nothing else to talk about. Like really nothing else to talk about. And it really, 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 really sucks because you see this time at the time at the time. I'm gonna be hundred percent. Y'all don't see no African American male or female going out shooting people like this. You don't see it. You don't see it because we don't know. You don't see this kind of stuff. You don't see this kind of stuff. And if you were to ever see this kind of stuff, it, it, his situation I feel like is not even getting played up enough. I'm just I'm just recording about it. Like, what do you like? If it was an African American person that went in and shot up an all white Publix, come on. It'll be media mass news. Everybody was talking about it. it'll be everywhere. This man would have came out broke, bruised, and battered. He probably wouldn't have survived getting into jail to be able to be prosecuted. Like, come on. And this man is still trying to, he's still trying to fight the, the case and say that he, you know, is not guilty of first degree murder. Baby, you killed 10 people. What you going, you going, what you going to do? You going, you going to claim insanity? Yeah, he is. That's what he going to do. He going to, he going to claim crazy. That's what he going to do. That's what he gonna end up doing because, uh, like, what, what, what? I guess he, I guess he's gonna say not guilty to try to get less time. I don't know, y'all. Let me know y'all feel y'all opinions and y'all feelings down below in the comment section. If you are not subscribed, family, what are you waiting for? Make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Leave comments down below. Let me know your opinions on this. Like, I want to know. Let's get some dialogue down in the comment section down below because I am really trying to understand why. Okay? For what? Okay? So, yeah, with that being said, I will see you guys on my next video. Um, Thank you guys so much for watching this one, and I love you guys so, so, so very much. Thank you to my old new subscribers. If you're new, welcome. I can't wait to see you on my next one. See you later. Peace, love, and blessings. Bye.